What do you think? <laughs> love is not that thing that you are thinking that love is. Sometimes you say love, love, love is blind, but marriage is the eye opener. Love is not that thing that you think love is. That is love. We have lust. We have love. Love is different from lust. If we should describe love, we should describe the love that Jesus showed us when he came. That is the kind of love that you should have for your spouse. That is the kind of love you should have for your partner. Agape love. Normally, women are built normally with love. We are built with emotions. We are not like men. You have to be submissive for your husband to love. You have natural love for your spouse. Then comes with submission. Love is not that thing that they think love is. Love is not that thing that you think love is. Love is not that thing that they imagine it to be. Love is blind, love is blind, love is blind. Yes, it's true. But love is blind. After love, you have a relationship. After that, you get married. Marriage is the eye opener. Marriage is your time for tests. If truly you are in love with your partner. Marriage will open your eyes. Marriage will make you to understand that love is not enough when you are coming to marriage. So it's not what they think, what they explain love to be that it is in marriage. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I go by the name Mrs. Omena Eze and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about love, the kind of love that you should have for your spouse when you are getting married or prepared to get married or you are already in marriage. When Jesus came, he showed us that his love for us is pure. Agape love. That is the kind of love that you should have for your partner. Hmm? It comes with some, some tests, circumstances and all that. First of all, love comes with pain. So you should have it in mind. You know, say because I love you, when you get married, you will not face some. Sometimes you will. It is a lie. Love comes with pains. Love comes with happiness too. Love comes with happiness. Love comes with emotions. Sometimes you break down. Sometimes you feel as if you did not love love well. Sometimes you feel as if you did not love well. Love comes with emotions. Love comes with happiness. It comes with pains. Love comes with understanding. If you don't understand your partner, then your love, yeah, your love we we will not owe. Your love will not owe because without understanding, your partner cannot only understand the kind of love you have for them. So you must have understanding to love someone. You must have understanding to understand the person, the kind of love that they love you. Love have different they have different kind of love. Some just love you for who you are. You begin to think maybe they want something to do with you. They want to you know, get married. Love comes with understanding. Especially in marriage, when you don't have understanding, you cannot love, okay? Love comes with wisdom. You have to have wisdom. I love it. The Bible says women should submit. Men should love. So when you are loving as a woman, then you must also apply to be submissive. Because if you are not submissive, that is when you begin to love your husband. And you begin to think that he is supposed to share his position as the head of the house with you because you, you love him and he loves you. You think you, the love is enough for you to now you know, be parading, uh, parading yourself. Mm -mm. When you are loving, love with wisdom. Know that ah, I love my husband because he is the head over me. Uh -huh. Have it in the back of your mind that you are loving, but he is above you. Okay? You, he is here. He is here. You are here. Uh -huh. So don't go and be loving and be thinking that uh, because you love and say, I love you, you love you, you think he's not your equal. Yeah. Love comes with respect. If you are loving somebody and you are not giving them respect, when they talk, when you talk to, as a woman, you are always shouting, you are always quarreling, you are always on your voice. When your husband says, say, do this, you say, no, this is what I want to do, you, you, you are claiming a position, you are chancy, you want to, no. That is not love. That is not love. So you must love at the same time. Submit. Be submissive. Be submissive. That's what the Bible says you should do. Be submissive. Then, then again, 
Love is patient. There are so many things that comes in marriage. I love somebody. It's not enough. You have to be patient. You have to be wise. You have to be tolerant. You have to be vigilant. Love is sacrifice. Above all, you must have to sacrifice it all. You must sacrifice it all if you really want to get the best of it. Love is sacrifice. Sometimes this, this shed, you might not have it, but you want your spouse to have it because you want to sacrifice it. The money you have to buy for yourself, you leave it and buy for your partner just to make them happy. That is sacrifice. That is the expressions of love. Love. That love is what you are going to extend to your family, to your children, to your husband, to everyone around you. Love is not selfish. Love is not shameless. Love comes with a lot. It comes with a lot of emotions and sacrifice to pay. In fact, love is sacrifice. You must be ready to share everything you have when you love someone. You must be ready to sacrifice everything for that person to be okay and happy. You must be ready to dish out the best of you. You must be ready to give it your all when you are in love. So, when you are planning to get married, have these things in mind. That love is not enough. These criteria, as I mentioned, must be added into that emotions, that love that you have for that person. So that when circumstances arise, you can be able to face it head on. With the love you have for the person, you can do the needful by standing by that person, by standing by that man, by standing by that woman, that no, I'll be there. Let's do this. We are in this together. So you need the agape love of Christ. So this is what love is in marriage. Love is not just saying it, it's by doing it and standing by your decisions. So guys, I'm going to see you all on my next one. Until then, stay blessed and God bless you.